DJI has yet to make any official announcements, but mounting evidence, from deleted social media teasers to supply chain whispers, strongly suggests that the company is preparing to launch its first-ever mirrorless camera in late 2025. Industry insiders and tech enthusiasts are buzzing with anticipation, and for good reason. The DJI mirrorless camera isn't just another product launch, it represents a potentially game-changing entry into a highly competitive space currently dominated by Japanese giants like Sony, Canon, and Nikon. By combining its deep expertise in drone technology and stabilization systems with the imaging heritage of Hasselblad, DJI is poised to challenge the status quo in hybrid content creation. This move is a logical extension of DJI's decade-long mission to make high-end imaging tools more accessible. Their success with drones like the Mavic series brought cinematic aerial photography to the masses, while handheld gimbals such as the Ronin line transformed video production for both amateurs and professionals. The company's 2017 acquisition of Hasselblad, a name synonymous with premium medium format photography, was a strategic step toward earning credibility in the professional imaging space. Now, all signs point to DJI preparing to merge these strengths into a single, powerful device, a mirrorless camera that meets the demanding needs of hybrid creators who no longer wish to compromise between stills and video performance. Industry experts predict that the DJI mirrorless camera will place a heavy emphasis on versatility and modularity, which has already proven successful in their Ronin 4D cinema camera. That product impressed filmmakers with its ability to transform from a compact, ready-to-shoot device into a fully rigged production tool with accessories like grips, external monitors, and expanded battery packs. DJI appears to be taking a similar approach with its mirrorless camera, designing it as a shape-shifting tool that can serve both street photographers and indie filmmakers. This flexibility could set the DJI mirrorless camera apart in a market where most systems are designed with either photographers or videographers in mind, but rarely both. A core component of DJI's strategy is its partnership with Hasselblad, whose influence is expected to shape the image quality and color science of the upcoming camera. While the sensor itself will likely be sourced from Sony, a common practice even among established camera brands, Hasselblad's unique color calibration and tonal rendering techniques could elevate the output significantly. The medium format prowess of cameras like the Hasselblad X2D 100C, known for exceptional dynamic range and color fidelity, provides a glimpse into the kind of imaging performance we might expect. If DJI manages to incorporate that level of quality into a full-frame system, it could appeal strongly to professionals seeking rich, nuanced visuals straight out of the camera. Another critical aspect of the DJI mirrorless camera's ecosystem is lens compatibility. According to credible leaks, DJI is expected to adopt the L-mount system, developed in partnership with Leica, Panasonic, and Sigma. This strategic choice would grant users immediate access to a robust lens catalog, more than 80 lenses, without waiting for a proprietary ecosystem to develop. However, it's also rumored that DJI will eventually launch its own line of Hasselblad-branded lenses optimized for the camera. These lenses would blend Hasselblad's precision optics with DJI's cost-effective manufacturing, providing users with high-quality native options without driving up prices to medium format levels. One area where DJI could truly stand out is stabilization. The Ronin 4D introduced a revolutionary stabilization system that fused mechanical gimbals with AI-driven software to deliver incredibly stable footage. A scaled-down version of this technology is expected to be implemented in the DJI mirrorless camera, likely through a hybrid system that combines sensor shift in-body image stabilization with digital horizon leveling. This would enable photographers and filmmakers to shoot handheld footage with the stability of a tripod, an especially attractive feature for travel shooters, documentary filmmakers, and vloggers who prioritize mobility. Unlike most mirrorless cameras, which often prioritize photography, DJI's system is expected to lean heavily into video capabilities. The camera is rumored to support recording formats up to 8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second, appealing to filmmakers who want maximum flexibility in post-production. Additional features like internal neutral density filters, waveform monitors, and professional audio integration suggest DJI is thinking like a cinema camera manufacturer. The inclusion of LiDAR-assisted autofocus, already refined in the Ronin 4D, could be another huge draw. This technology offers lightning-fast subject tracking and is designed to eliminate one of the most common frustrations for videographers using traditional autofocus systems. Another major selling point for the DJI mirrorless camera could be its seamless integration with the broader DJI ecosystem. 
the company's strength lies in building connected hardware and software experiences, and this camera is likely to benefit from that expertise. For example, real-time wireless connectivity between DJI drones and the camera could allow creators to frame and monitor aerial shots directly through the camera's viewfinder. Compatibility with accessories like the DJI Mic 2 would enable automatic audio syncing, while footage captured from DJI drones could be wirelessly transferred to the mirrorless camera or cloud for streamlined editing workflows. Speaking of the cloud, perhaps the most futuristic rumor about the DJI mirrorless camera is its support for SM-enabled cloud connectivity. This could allow photographers working in remote or rugged environments to upload raw files to cloud storage automatically, reducing reliance on physical backups and speeding up turnaround times. When combined with DJI's existing drone mapping software, this feature could prove invaluable for commercial photographers in real estate, surveying, or agriculture. Cloud-native workflows also align with trends in collaborative content creation, where teams work across different locations and devices. Pricing will be a pivotal factor in determining whether DJI can successfully break into the mirrorless market. Analysts estimate that the camera will be priced between $2,800 and $3,300, putting it between Sony's A7 IV and the high-end A1. This mid-tier pricing strategy allows DJI to undercut flagship models while offering standout features such as modular design, superior stabilization, and cloud connectivity. For context, the Hasselblad X2D 100C currently retails at over $8,000, so delivering Hasselblad-level image quality at a third of the price would be a compelling value proposition. DJI appears to be targeting hybrid creators, professionals who need a single device that can shoot high-quality photos, record 8K video without overheating, and connect easily with accessories and smartphones for instant content sharing. In terms of design, leaked renders suggest a modern yet tactile aesthetic inspired by Hasselblad. Expect to see physical dials for manual control, a monochrome LCD display for quick settings checks, and a durable magnesium alloy body. The user interface is rumored to draw inspiration from DJI's drone software, favoring customizable shortcuts over complex menu trees. This would be a smart move, particularly for creators migrating from action cameras or smartphones who may not be familiar with traditional mirrorless systems. Ergonomically, the camera may adopt unconventional design elements similar to the Ronin 4D, whose asymmetrical grip reduced wrist fatigue during long shoots. Such features could make the DJI mirrorless camera an attractive option for handheld shooters on the move. However, challenges remain. One major hurdle is convincing users already invested in Sony or Canon systems to switch. Lens ecosystems represent years of investment for many professionals, and DJI will need to demonstrate that its L-mount compatibility and future Hasselblad lens options are compelling enough to justify the transition. Third-party support from manufacturers like Sigma will also be crucial in easing that switch. Battery life is another potential pitfall. Mirrorless cameras already trail DSLRs in battery performance, and a feature-heavy design with cloud sync, AI stabilization, and wireless video streaming could further strain power reserves. That said, DJI's track record in drone power management suggests they're up to the challenge. Solutions like fast USB-C charging or swappable external battery packs could help address user concerns. Then there's the issue of trust and market perception. As a Chinese tech brand, DJI faces geopolitical scrutiny, particularly in Western markets. To earn the confidence of professionals and institutions, the company may need to offer localized data storage options or partner with established cloud providers like Adobe or AWS to ensure security and compliance. If DJI succeeds with its mirrorless camera, the ripple effects could be far-reaching. Rivals like Canon may be forced to accelerate their cloud integration strategies, while Sony could deepen its partnerships in the gimbal and stabilization space. For consumers, this increased competition would likely result in more innovative features and better pricing across the board. More importantly, the DJI mirrorless camera reflects a broader industry trend toward hybrid workflows. As platforms like YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels continue to demand mixed-media content, tools that can seamlessly pivot between photography and videography will become essential. In the end, the DJI mirrorless camera isn't just another product, it's a symbol of where the imaging industry is headed. If DJI manages to blend Hasselblad's artistic excellence with its own technical innovation and ecosystem synergy, it could redefine what professionals expect from their gear. Still, the journey won't be easy. The market is skeptical, brand loyalty runs deep, and expectations are sky-high. But if anyone can shake things up, it's DJI. What are your thoughts on this bold move? Could the DJI mirrorless camera become your go-to hybrid tool? Let us know in the comments.